all right guys what's going on welcome back to the channel i know it's been a while since i last spoke to you guys uh today i'm gonna go over uh you know the usual timeline battle runs but i made some recent discoveries that i wanted to share with you in regarding some new additions and these new additions they're particularly for pvp but they have their limits as well as their assets and i wanted to showcase their assets because you can maybe use them in other world battle and some low leagues in timeline battle but i'm obviously going to go up against the best and only the best and there are about four teams on here that i can consistently say are good and then i don't need to change but there are two teams that i'm experimenting with particularly with warlock and gene gray and i'm building teams around them with the new characters invisible woman and quicksilver these two new characters are real debuff masters and i'm going to take you through various runs with my usual teams and with the new team setups so i do hope that you enjoy them and take some useful information out of them don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so I can get to that Star Agent program fast. I want you guys to see the losses that I get while also seeing the wins that I get. Yep, one wrong move, man. If you catch him in the charm first, ah, oh, that would have been nice. Yeah, you see, you got to get the proc up with all of her skills ready to go. This is where it's going to get hard. Damn. Wow, that was a first time run. I can't believe that. That's actually hilarious. Bro, that took me a bunch of tries before. <laughs> but I mean, you could see that Gene with Rage is so overpowered. I replaced it from a Judgment and the difference is astounding. It this basically works like ambush without the reflect negation like she gets extra defense she gets super guard break her attack goes through the roof her proc uh activates with it with the enraged proc so she could potentially perform really really well for you but you gotta do it in moments this team is proving to be really useful especially with invisible woman with a very special ctp on her that i'm not going to say yet but i mean this team why the hell am i using super giant well it's because super giant gives 20 seconds of debuff removal for wolverine which is pretty overpowered in my opinion but super giant herself is not overpowered at all As you can see, Warlock always, like, barely lives. Barely lives, man. Yeah. You know, the biggest weakness that Warlock has with a brilliant conquest is his attack. So you can most likely dodge his one shots. Jesus, bro.
Oh my good god. Oh my good god. I have a problem though. I got a big problem. Yep, that's the problem right there. Uh, I should have freaking tried to attack him somehow. I almost had him too. That was crazy. Look how slow his movement speed is. Here we go. Damn it, Wolver, you gotta hurry up. You got five seconds left. Oh no, no. Oh, I'm dead. There's no way. Please, 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 yes, man! Just crazy. Uh. It becomes invincible. But I have to use decoys. All your skills combined. Yep. Works. You gotta get all your skills combined beforehand to kill this freaking bastard sentry. But it works. Daniels can do it. So team number four. I rely heavily on Warlock. He doesn't need anything. He doesn't need a support. He doesn't need attack. He just needs the tier four. Quicksilver can kill the opponents the second revive when they're not under debuff removal. So that's pretty valuable. There's not a lot of characters that could do that other than Gore, but Gore's damage is way too low. It's way too low. Even with a proc, it's way too low. Tank. That's the thing now, you could tank. If you are if you have tier fours and you have decent, decent damage, you can tank. And if you combine all your skills, you have two procs and an energy proc. Fucked up there. Yeah, that was gonna happen. Damn, son. Oh, I should have did the second skill. That was a mistake. I have to kill him fast. Okay. Okay, I have a chance. Five from distance, four. See, I trapped him. But for some reason, he just completely blocked and just one-shotted me from across the map when I was doing a freaking iframe. The game still negates me from actually executing it. Sure, if I doubt I can get this kill with, but if I can, it'd be nice. Oh god, no. Yep. I 
Oof, good luck, Quicksilver. Ooh. Bang. Um. Uh... That is a way to survive, but it's a better to execute that, what I just did with Warlock during the second revive. Let me skip to another team right now. Just because I'm pressed for time. Shouldn't really need Mysterio for this fight, I don't think. Cancel my skill. Keep in mind, you gotta be very careful of Sentry's second skill and fifth skill because they have damage that goes beyond their physical skill, meaning you can't see it physically. Gotta do it, gotta do it, gotta do it. Gotta execute. Oh, okay, okay, I see what you're doing, bro. You're doing that stupid glitch again that's gonna get me killed. Then you're gonna give him debuff removal. Nope, no you're not. Not today. Yeah, I was always constantly resetting my debuff removal. With Surfer, I have to do the same thing that I do with Warlock. I have to die, and then I have to kill him with my second revive. And then I'll use Hulk for Century Second Revive. Yep, it's actually a nice tactic. It's a very nice tactic. Man, nice. I can't survive against Warlocks. Oh, I got transcendence, so you're gonna see that too. You're gonna see that come into play. Amazing. Love the consistency. Amazing how fast he gets his shit up. Crazy how fast. I'm dead though. Yeah. Jesus, man. Whoa! Oh my god! I'm dead! Wow. I remember I used to do this too. Nice. 
Oh man, wow. Nice. Not killing him. Thank you. Good shit. So I went up against a few more opponents, you know, with some more team selections. And I mean, you're going to see that with a pattern, like the first four teams I use are generally the same, but um, team five and six are changed up a little bit. It's usually with Gene and Warlock because Gene and Warlock, I can have a little bit more versatility with, um, but the inconsistencies are proving to be a little bit too much right now. I can't really get the full benefit from them at tier three against these teams that are so stacked with colossus the damage varying is way too much like even warlock at tier four i can't get him 100 percent consistent with his rotations now his rotations look like they work But for some reason, they only work sometimes, and it could be for a multitude of reasons. I mean, I did these clips like a week ago, and the emblems have been arriving, and people have just been working them out. So they can go up to pretty high levels, and on top of that, I can't see what exactly their stats are with those emblems. But, you know, for some reason, sometimes these... Brilliant Conquest Sentries, these Brilliant Conquest uh, uh, Warlocks, they're almost impossible to kill sometimes. And it's the same with the Ambush uh, Sentries as well, the Greed Sentries. They are very uh, fluctuating on their defense. Sometimes I rip right through, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'll live and I'll do the rotation, sometimes I won't. With Jean, her supports have been all over the place. And she benefits, she's good in a triple meta, but against the Colossus team without any kind of support, she's going to struggle pretty hard and her damage is going to vary. And you can also see the lag occurring. This lag will kill you. It's going to lag your procs also. So when you see this lag, put your phone down and stop playing. Because your phone is probably hot and you probably are freaking wondering why your hand is on fire because the phone is so hot. So, you know, I suggest like limiting yourself with timeline battle, like for recreational use only. Because, you know, using any kind of other meta other than the top three is essentially is insanely risky. So... You know, I, I could tell you, hey, some of these rotations will work in Platinum League, but I can't say that they'll absolutely work in Vibranium League because Vibranium League has a lot of varying teams. Vibranium, Vibranium League has teams that um, their team selections are actually kind of weak sometimes, but they're using a triple meta, but their stats aren't that great. But then there are some teams that are virtually unkillable at times. So I'm essentially letting you guys know which teams are like that and which ones you should probably avoid. You know, because they're very, very difficult. But I also give you the rotations and I'm using very limited amount of uh, backup with these meta. So... Warlock, Gene, Wolverine, Thanos, all of these meta have very limited supports. Like I'm using Mantis for Thanos and his other meta is with Carnage. So you're going to see how I operate because, you know, Gene needs to be with another top five meta. Wolverine if you've got correct debuff removal and support, he actually can still solo, which is quite interesting. Thanos could also solo 1v1 
And if you use decoys, the debuff removal leadership will reset, right? Now, Warlock and Silver Surfer, they kind of need another meta alongside them. But for example, Warlock with Spider-Man and Silver Surfer with Hulk, they create a perfect balance. So those two together, if they're paired with each other, can still kill the meta. I'm not so sure if it was vice versa, like Hulk with Warlock, because Spider-Man doesn't need debuff removal as much as Hulk does. But with those two pairings, they're actually very strong together. So here, you know, I got to wait for moments. I got to wait until my encounter comes up. I got to, you know, cancel skills at the appropriate time because invincibility matters greatly. They get a lot of invincibility and you don't. So you have to be wary of that. You know, greed century. I have a greed century at tier three with a Mysterio insight. And I mean, I have him with Ghost Rider and sometimes I feel like it's too overpowered. Like century I've paired with Strife before and I can kill majority of teams in, in Vibranium with just Sentry alone. Now, you know, he's going to struggle against like the likes of Thanos, maybe, but you can interrupt him. You can combine your skills. It's just the greed proc is weird because when you're taking on meta with the first meta, the greed proc will activate immediately and then you'll probably kill the first meta. But then with the second meta, the greed proc isn't going to activate appropriately. It's going to activate sporadically. So. Here I'm experimenting more with like my sixth team. I'm showcasing more of Quicksilver because I was swapping a lot of CTPs on him. I think that more like offensive CTPs are better for him. I think you can stick with a free-to-play seat uh, obelisk on him. I don't really think if you're going to, unless you're going to put him in PvE, which I don't think he's that good in, uh, you don't need to stick anything crazy on him to get the best out of what Quicksilver offers, which is maybe like a quick kill when you least expect it. He relies too much on debuffs. That's why I recommend that you try to get kills with him during the second revive or whoever. But um, regardless, I'm going to try and see if I can make teams with him. But it's proving to be very difficult. Taking on one of the toughest opponents for f six years. This guy has been sitting in Vibranium. Top one through five every day of the week until the last day where he descends to the bottom. This guy has been hoarding vibranium for six years. And it's no wonder people find constant frustration. That tactic that I just did with Gene Rage, it's actually very inconsistent. Okay, I got it. Wow, almost died there. We got awakened skill just a little late. That's how you do it. Very, very, very annoying. I don't know why it took me that many times to do. And yeah, you didn't see all the other times I was just doing it a minute ago. 
Very, very annoying. Okay, use the second skill with Wolverine. This is the second team. Use Wolvie's fifth skill from distance. Make sure you avoid that residual damage from that fifth skill because it's still lingering for like two seconds after Sentry is finished with it. I have six seconds left of debuff removal. Okay. I didn't die. But I could die here if I'm not careful. Okay, good. No, I'm not gonna make that out here. But I have to get him quick. Yes. Nice. Good job for uh, Super Giant for stun locking him for me. Because he probably had that skill up. I don't know if you just saw, but that Colossus completely cancelled my tier 3 skill. He cancels my skills often. It's either I could kill him quick or he is just sometimes like impossible. I have to switch it out because Thanos will not survive that. But I will try to delay, even though I may have just screwed myself this time. Oh, maybe not. Switch to Carnage. I trust that Thanos is going to be able to kill him twice. But I gotta be careful because I don't, I don't have much time. Yeah, he had that counter ready already. Gotta constantly put yourself in an iframe because you never know when you're gonna get completely reflected. Sometimes with Silver Surfer, you always have to be diligent and not lazy because when you get lazy, that's when Silver Surfer gets you. Five, two, three. Two allows you to do any ignore iframe you essentially want. It's Quicksilver, it's very 50-50 with his dodge. Like very 50-50. Nah, that Quicksilver tactic isn't 50-50, it's more like 80-20. With Sentry one-tapping you. Alright, try again. I wasn't going to make it out of there anyway. I may, I may try Strife here at some point. That sacrifice in Warlock rotation is usually consistent. Quicksilver is not that good against uh, Silver Silver. Oh no, I'm dead. Okay. Good luck, man. Wow. Wow. Warlock Showcase. Team number five, I mean, I say, I say with caution that it's easy, but not against this team. Definitely not against this team. So I'm trying to debuff him as soon as possible. Keep resetting my debuff. Move away from his fifth because it's still going for like another two seconds. And I kill him. And I kind of repeat. But I keep restarting my debuff removal. And I keep force canceling skills. And I keep maneuvering. As long as you keep maneuvering, you'll eventually get him. And then you end on the third skill to avoid reflect. And I, I, I switched. I swear to God, I switched. 
That is very close. Wow, okay. Alright, Ghost Rider. Do your thing, buddy. He's a villain. Go get him. Easy does it. Now team six and team six should also take this team out relatively easy. My dealers are usually my, my best character because I most of the time need them to die because most of the time Sentry is starting. With Silver Surfer, it's five four three. With Warlock, it's like Two five three or whatever. Nice. So I messed up there. You can just die. It's okay. him all right you see that keep up removal good defense I don't want to do much of that but that's all right all right guys so now we're coming towards the end of the video don't forget to like and subscribe uh just remember that with these teams like there's a couple of them that i'm still testing a lot to see what can work against every opponent because while i got some of these clips out i still need to test and i still need to see which teams are actually really consistent because i showed you some consistent ways to kill sentry but not all of them are going to work 100 percent of the time but I'm still figuring out that despite debuff removal being active pretty much in majority of the time of the fight, Century's weakness as well as other tunes' weaknesses are still debuffs. So I'm showcasing Quicksilver and Invisible Woman in the best way that I possibly can, even without Franklin involved at all. I've essentially used Invisible Woman as a support and meta together. And I've properly used the addition of the Awakened skill, which I think is where her value lies, a good chunk of it. So if you're going to use her, you can. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed these cool clips I've got of these characters, these new showcases of Invisible Woman and Quicksilver, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.